So essentially when we're performing a VO2 max test, we use a mask like so, and we just place it on the mouth, like that. And essentially what that does is it records all the oxygen and carbon dioxide that we're breathing out and also the volume. It allows us to have a look and see how efficient a person is while they're exercising. So over here is a test that I performed with Mark and you can see through the early parts of the test the blue line is the oxygen that he has expired and the red line is the carbon dioxide. As the test goes on, so up to this point up here, you can see that the carbon dioxide actually takes over the oxygen and that's the point where Mark's not going to be able to sustain that exercise for a very much longer period and that's what we call volitional exhaustion. So essentially this sort of testing allows us to set really specific training zones. So obviously Mark is going to be spending an awful lot of time in an endurance zone, in an aerobic zone um, while he's out there working, but he is going to come across lots of obstacles, for instance headwinds, he's going to be climbing up some big hills, so we have to make sure that he doesn't just train in one zone because he will be going out of that and if he sticks in that one zone the whole time he will become more tired and more fatigued. So essentially for Mark, what we're looking to do is to make him much more efficient at higher wattages so he can push the pedals for harder, he will travel further, but the actual cost of that workload on his body is minimal.